I sent a letter to the White House uh, with a list of my concerns about the AI. We would like to have it on the right track. I received a response from the White House on April 17th, so it's not affecting people, life, or you know, jobs that bad. They have to understand the implication on the society, the implication on business, the implication of technology. The AI has a very powerful way of thinking and connecting. We don't want it to go to the level where it starts thinking by itself. And that is the area of the super AI, when the AI looks at the human as an obstacle for them. The fear here is, this is actually mentioned in so many of the hearings in the Congress, that the AI will create its own AI. The human is not involved in that cycle. That is the fear. That is the beginning of the super AI. Would artificial intelligence, or AI, being inserted these days anywhere from a PDF file to a toothbrush to a death calculator, the development of this relatively new technology that is taking the world by storm is going at full speed and is being fueled by companies like NVIDIA, AMD, and OpenAI right here in the Silicon Valley. Yet regulation and control are completely out of sync with the speed of development and become a major concern. Today, we sit down with Ahmed Banapa, professor of engineering at San Jose State University, an expert in AI and cybersecurity. He's an award-winning author and was ranked number one voice on AI by LinkedIn in 2024. He has been interviewed by major media on this topic and joins us in the studio today. This is Bay Area Innovators, and I'm your host, Steve Espas. Ahmed, welcome to our program. 